Welcome back to the channel everyone. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a build video on an A3. Uh, it's pretty modified. Uh, he's taking it to the drag strip and he's pushing a good amount of horsepower. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, make sure to like this video because the build videos are coming back. I don't know how many more I'm going to do, but um, it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty cool. And uh, I'm also gonna hit get a few runs with him, so we're gonna be getting a few races, probably a 25 and a 45 roll. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how bad I get gapped. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Here's the homies A3. Um, yeah, so just before we get into the runs, we decided to do like a 25 roll and a 45 roll. Um, those are good for my car. Uh, they Based on how much power he's pushing, I don't think the, the race matters. He's still going to kill me in every single race. But just to reiterate my specs, I have a 260 wheel and 248 uh, wheel torque. That was, in, uh, that was confirmed in the dyno run. Um, so I'm going to see how VTEC does against an Audi. Uh, it's also supposed to be basically the same motor as a GTI. So um, Audi, I guess they're interchangeable. But yeah, we're going to see how my car does against his car. But before we get into that, we're going to get a little, a few words about his um, power and his build. So This is my 2017 A3 Quattro. Um, it's making around 400, uh, 430 wheel horsepower, if I remember correctly. And I don't remember the torque, like 398 or 395 or something. And just got an intake only. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, this thing did an 11.1 at the drag strip at, I don't remember the mile per hour, but yeah, it did an 11.1. And... We're just going to see how it does against the cord. I don't know if I messed up by setting up this race, but uh, we're going to do a 25 and 45 roll with um, the homies A3. Um, it's pushing two, 430 wheel and 390 torque. So it's a lot more than me. And this is just purely for entertainment purposes and just for like getting interesting runs. But uh, I'm expecting about like a bus length gap, but um, just warming up the car. Uh, his car's over there. You can see it right there. But um, yeah, let's just get into the runs and uh, hopefully the cord hangs in, but I doubt it. If this car spins, I'm totally fucked. But if it hooks a little bit, I think we will hang in for like a second. <laughs> but it's just for fun, boys. Hopefully you guys like these videos. Um, I want to bring back the build videos, but I'm just not sure what... Uh, what you guys want to see and I'm kind of trying to be more selective about builds so um, Yeah, let's see how this does. Oh I'm nervous. My heart's pumping. Oh That adrenaline's coming in bro. Oh my god. I can hear his turbo already A dope car shout out to him bro it's been it's been really fun hit me with another 25 just real quick all right just dig right now It's just about having fun and uh, that's exactly what's going on here because I'm not gonna win at all even if he gives me like five cars ahead my name is Sims uh, this is my 2017 Audi a3 Quattro it's basically a GTI but all-wheel drive it came stock with an IS 20 um, I got it about a year and a half ago and now this thing has a CTS ball bearing 550 CTS intake um, Ford injection, 
fuel pump, fuel pump controller, and downpipe stock cap back. I, I don't really want to be loud or anything. Just trying to keep it more of a sleeper look. And um, yeah, that's all it is. And then check out under the hood. And yeah, I have uh, BFI mount stage two, basically solid as hell. Vibrate the whole car, crazy amount. <laughs> And then, as you can see, flex fuel sensor, port injection, uh, CTS ball bearing 550 turbo with down pipe. And under the hood, that's basically it, like not a lot. Um, car is making around 430 wheel horsepower, 390 something torque, I think. He'll put up the dyno sheet on the screen. And uh, yeah, and just basic stuff, you know. And then uh, I have a 525 fuel pump. Uh, fuel pump controller and yeah that's it just and then for suspension I have uh, EMD lowering springs stock brakes because I can't track my car because uh, I'm a loser and uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding I, I do plan on going to the track soon uh, just trying to get it dialed down a little bit more and then I have 17 by 9 RPF ones 255 40 17 tires all around I have RE 71 R's in the back and I have Toyota proxies in the front kind of like a drag radial but it's not it's like i think it's more of a, like a wet racing tire if i'm right but they're really grippy help out and then some of the cosmetics on the car we have an ebay front lip because i keep breaking them so this is like my fifth one already hopefully it lasts and then uh i bought these from china you know because it's a german car <laughs> uh, parts are expensive and then just a carbon lip in the back and that's about it not much going on and then as you can see, I have stock tips still because I don't really care about being that loud. And yeah, car is full weight right now, but when I went to the track, it was fully gutted inside. No passenger seat, no back seats, nothing in the trunk. Car went, he'll post a picture up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the car went 11-1 uh, at 123. Uh, I that was my first time I read the director, so I'm still like getting it down, like working on the launch a little bit. Uh, I think she still, I think she's got a 10 in her and we're definitely gonna find out this year but yeah i raced the mark 5 super first time at the drag strip i think it was full bolt on e85 uh i don't know how much power he made he was too cool to talk to me i had the cheaper german car obviously so um but yeah it was a very close race i got him by 0 0.0027 just because i launched a little early he was creeping up up top but he didn't have enough to come around but yeah, and uh, the car's 60 foot, best 60 foot right now is a 1.6, and best 8th mile right now is a 7.1. I'm still trying to get it under the, uh, in the 6s, maybe a 6.9, hopefully. And once that gets going, maybe a solid 10.8, 10.7 pass. I do want to turn it up a little bit more. The car's making about 30 pounds right now. I do want to do a little up, like 33 pounds, and then in fourth gear, it's it's on a conservative tune, so fourth gear is turned down a little bit, so take some load off the car. And once, I'm just gonna turn it up, and if she goes, she goes. <laughs>probably uh next modification is probably a for sale sign i'm just <laughs> kidding uh, uh i think uh future plan i just gonna turn up the boost a little bit it is mainly a daily driver for me i don't really care about breaking records or anything i made it to have fun and i think this car is really fun for me and what i do is basically something to mess around with not like crazy like breaking record or like tracking every time it's basically like a just a daily driver with like that's a little bit more fun than a normal car but yeah and uh next one um, modifications i do want uh want to start working on suspension get some sway bars in there and just some like little things and i've been doing mainly cosmetic after i got the car tuned and everything just to try to make it look better for me like got the headlights tinted the grill going the rs3 grill and then uh just like little things here and there uh, but next I do want to start working on suspension and learning. I still don't know a lot about tracking yet and how to turn a car, you know, no, I'm just kidding.
uh, uh, but I do want to practice that and get better with that and basically do my research on that and what I want and to better myself maybe some coilovers get rid of the springs get like better suspension like I said and next things basically I think I'm just gonna turn up the boost a little more I'm happy with the how the car is doing on stock motor maybe I'll build it one day if it blows up maybe I might just sell it I'm not sure like this thing's fun but I'm not like too crazy like into like wanting to keep it that much if I'm like trying to dump too much money into it because at that point I'd probably get a five cylinder TTRS or an RS3 and yeah I I think it's a solid car right now probably just needs a little bit more love on paint and just a little bit more stuff like I do have a catch can already in the trunk I need to put it on the car which I'm hopefully doing today I'm not sure yet but uh, and then just a bigger intake uh, I think this filter is like probably going to cut it off a little bit right here put a bigger uh, filter and so you can like get more air in it and then yeah just turn up the boost a little bit more car has enough fueling to make about 500 maybe 550 we'll see I'm just going to tell the tuner to turn it up all the way until I run out of fuel almost and yeah car is solid let's go get some runs in I think from where you really notice the power is a dig though, like it launch, it gets out right, so right here, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit, dude! That was that was something. <laughs> Holy shit! Yep, she gets out real nice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Bottom right is no, it's recording. Okay, it's recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So shout out to Sims. Uh, he he's letting me drive his car. Um, I'm not gonna do too too many crazy things because I'm not used to the platform and it has a lot more power than I'm used to. You know, I'm an NA boy. Still, still got like under 300 wheel. Um, this is in the 400. So we're gonna chill a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna do you know maybe a few like little um, hits from a roll and stuff but I don't think I'm gonna do a launch but yeah we're gonna he's see gonna this. launch it <laughs> we're gonna see how it goes uh, but uh, yeah let's get into it oh shoot oh okay all right all right so I've driven I've been fortunate enough to drive a few of my homies cars I will say What's comparable to this car is um, the Supra that I uh, filmed and uh, test drove. Uh, shout out to William for that one. But I would say they would be really close. And the, sh the transmission on this car shifts so fast. Like, um, I didn't expect it to be near instant um, like the Supras. Uh, but yeah, just from that one little uh, roll, I will have to say this car is very comparable to the Supra. Uh, if William still had the car, I definitely would want them to run it. But um, cause he was also he said it was like the high 400s, maybe 500, um, which would be a really good run. Cause uh, these cars are similar weight. Uh, but let's try another little little roll. Probably gonna do like 20. Uh, no, let's just do 30. That's enough for me. Wait, 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 wait. It's a red light. Oh, no, no. It's a red light. Wait, so what do I do? What do I, I just, do? Just uh, press the brake in. Oh, wait. Brake. With your left foot, brake it in with your left foot. Yeah. And then just smash on the gas. Like that? Just mash it all the way. Yeah, there you go. Let it go. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Man, he caught me. He caught me at the red, man. I was trying to avoid that, but shout out to him again for letting me drive the car. It's really fun. <laughs> 